Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otzi and I'll welcome you to another day with Redstone. Today I will show you one way to store a state with a Minecraft contraption that can be considered the most basic state machine. Most of you might not be familiar with state machines, but you encounter them in your everyday life. Most vending machines are state machines. There are certain steps that need to be taken in a specific order. In general, state machines consist of states and transitions. From one state, there are usually transitions in one or more other states based on some conditions. Some transitions may also lead back to previous states. What I will show you is such a state machine that only has transitions to one state and only at the end loops back into the first state. There are different ways to store state in Minecraft. You can use a container and measure its filling state with a comparator. Based on the signal strengths, you can get up to 16 different states. Things that should be considered in a mechanism to store states is changing the state and how easy and fast you can get from one state to the next one, and secondly, reading out the current state. The first point can be tricky with the container solution. You might also wonder about the practical applications in Minecraft. Many complex farms that rely on redstone have a series of events and delays. As long as you're using a well-known design, you're fine. But if you find yourself in a situation where you have to tweak things, make it larger, and as a consequence need additional repeaters, the timings will be off and the whole farm may no longer be reliable. Adding a state store in such a situation adds robustness to the design, as you store the state the farm is in and then proceed to the next state only when the event happens. This eliminates intricate timing. Let's go through the different stages or components. First, there's the actual storage where the state is stored. The redstone block represents the current state. Well, there are two of those. The output is only read from the top row. Next, we add a mechanism to move the states. This happens through a piston tape, and this looks a bit weird as the pistons are through the back and not directly on the tape. Reason for that is that uh, if uh, redstone block is pushed diagonally to a piston, it but powers it, uh, which can trigger the piston. And this is not what we want. Therefore, the uh, pistons are further back and push everything that way. A piston can push up to 12 block, which means we can have 10 different states. Uh, but there's the possibility to combine multiple of these together. All these pistons need to be powered in the correct order. First the horizontal ones, then the vertical ones. In order for the uh, sticky piston not to lose their block, uh, they need to be powered for three game ticks or 1.5 redstone ticks. For simplicity sakes, uh, I use two redstone ticks. Up next is the mechanism to read out the signal. This can be done with comparators that will output a signal of strength 15. With this design, we can alternate the readout from the left and the right side, which helps greatly with redstone lines not interfering with each other. In the next stage, we have to consider the input from the outside. Uh, this is 
the actual event. Let's say the tree has grown and we can stop dispensing bone meal. We only get there from the state bone meal dispenser active. Natural tree growth is not allowed. If we were in any other state, the signal would be blocked. To achieve this, we add AND gates to the read state of the output and the second input to the AND gate is the actual event. Tree has grown. The last piece needed here is when the last state is reached, the system should reset. This can be achieved by looping around the signal, the output signal from the AND gate around with some delay to the input uh, and thereby triggering uh, another transition and the redstone block from the bottom moves up and vice versa. I hope you found this video useful. You can find the link to the world download down in the description. And hope to see you soon in another Minecraft video. Goodbye!